Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trainer here. Uh, today is Friday, May 3rd. I'll be going over my recap for today. Uh, so today I have my biggest loss um, from just one trade and it's not a good feeling, but uh, I have to take it um, because I made, um, I broke a lot of rules. Um, so let's get started here. So NWL is my first trade. Um, I saw this hook have, having this uh, cup and handle here, uh, right here, uh, and then it broke. Uh, and then I went ahead and tried to reshort more, but I think v VWAP uh, was really close. So I went ahead and um, re-added um, and then added more and covered. So um, like just from this one here, um, I should have stopped out here, uh, but then I re-added here and covered um, for uh, $67 loss there. So I think when I had this bad, bad habit here, um, it will, it will go to my next trade. Um, so I actually covered and then I actually covered, uh, over covered and long, and then just uh, sold, sold it. So that was a $67 loss and a $13 loss on the long side. Uh, and ENPH, um, so this one, I I was looking for a, a 90 MA break uh, for the for the um, five minute retest. So I think that was up here um, during this up here. Um, it ended up it ended up breaking down um, and then I think it retested. So I should have seen that uh, and covered, um, but I ended up uh, covering um, for almost, um, almost near the highs there. And that was a $26 loss. Okay, so on to my biggest loss. So I made a huge mistake here. So at first, this is just like a consolidating here, uh, which I don't usually trade unless it breaks down, right? It breaks down below here or breaks a higher day. Um, but uh, what I saw here initially was uh, a symmetrical triangle so you can see it's getting tighter here um, and then I went ahead and short this uh, you can see it's creating like a lower low here uh, I went ahead and short there um, and then I end up adding so when this plan here fell I should have stopped out right um, and then I told myself okay I'm gonna stop out at these highs right um, these highs uh, red to green uh, VWAP so there's a lot of uh, I guess signals to stop out so yeah so you have red to green move um, you have VWAP here the blue line and then you have this descending breakout line so um, but I ended up not stopping out there which was like a, just a $80 loss right and then I end up adding here and then I end up uh, not stopping out when I had the chance to take away my ads um, and it ended up just trailing, trailing, and then I stopped out pretty much the end of day here, the last two minutes for a $730 loss. So pretty much what started out as a okay, decent setup um, for the short of the break here um, became a really bad trade because I got Slurburn and didn't stop out um, from my plan. And I tried to short here because it's higher day and it ended up just becoming really bad. So I ended up holding through all this. Um, it was a pretty emotional ride, but sometimes, um, I mean $700, I mean, it's not gonna hurt me. I'm still up for the year, but um, it's a really bad, um, bad loss um, in terms of my relative uh, P&L from uh, the other tickers. Um, and then also DHR here, you can see it topped out at 134.50. So that was another reason I was kind of hesitant to just uh, stop out because it was at the high of uh, all time high. So it ended up breaking all time high uh, pretty much at towards the end of the day there. 
so um, I just stopped out um, and I didn't want to hold it over overnight or anything um, so yeah so a big loss a uh, big lesson to learn um, um, you know fortunately it's it's a big loss relative to my my uh, gain and losses in general um, but that's why you have to start from a smaller account uh, eventually every trader will go through uh, either blowing up uh, a trade or blowing up an account so uh, it's be fortunate that it's now like a 10 figure or, or like a four figure five figure loss uh, and I should just learn from this and another thing is um, it's it's okay to take these losses as long as you learn from them um, if, if you're learning um, then a loss is uh, a lesson right so hopefully I can carry this and you know be more diligent and uh, disciplined to stop out when I know there's like pretty much three signals for me to stop out there. Uh, it's pretty much like a breakout here, uh, flag break, you know, red to green. Um, and I didn't look at the signal, I didn't take it. And then once I shared it here, my mind was not clear because I'm just trying to get out even or trying, I don't know what I'm doing. So there's a plenty of spaces where I could, you know, take a loss, maybe cut this loss in half, but I end up taking it right up there. So, uh, so hopefully this is a lesson, uh, anyone that's starting to trade to learn, um, is to be disciplined. Uh, don't let your losses grow. Um, cause you know, if I take just a, take the hundred dollar loss, uh, right here, then, you know, that wouldn't have been, uh, too bad, right? So, uh, it's, it's always better to take those losses. And in hindsight, it's easier to say that than done because your emotions are involved. Um, but I'm also training myself to take bigger losses, um, being okay to control those emotions cause, uh, to make big money you need to take big losses so um when i first started trading i i just traded with like 13 dollars you know like this amount of size 13 dollars uh gains and losses and i thought like oh 67 dollars for the big big loss for me 67 dollars 100 dollars were like big losses for me but now since i uh you know being sized it in more uh sixty seven dollars a hundred dollar gain in losses is a norm for me and now seven hundred dollars are the big losses uh, that are like blown up but eventually hopefully it gets normalized and my emotional get normalized and sh i should be able to just take those hundred dollars 150 dollar losses uh, and not think about think about it and move on to the next trade so um as always um thank you for watching and uh, taking the time to listen to my um, thought process on this and hopefully there's uh, lots of lessons to be learned um, and hopefully I don't try not to repeat this in the future um, but sometimes it's inevitable and your emotionals control you over your mind and things can happen um, so as always um, if you haven't done so uh, don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you bye bye